uncomfortable and that buildup that Michigan State has proven to be so good at. And don't count them out because they've got a ton more coming. On the ball now for Nebraska. Are for the flip, it is. It's quickly thrown in by Zade. This will fall to Belzeal. Belzeal with that left foot. Far side, pretty good ball, but it'll go out of bounds looking for Weber. Good idea. Score line that Michigan State had against Minnesota. They have right here with 3.30 remaining in the game. Shot from distance, and Kozel knew exactly where the post was. It's cute. Here she is again. Belzeal takes the shot straight into the hands of McKinney. Tying with champions Michigan State. 0-0. Zero, zero. Into the box. Flicked on by, and here is Schwartz towards goal. And a foot save by McKinney. Odemark given away. Belzeal now. Florence Belzeal skipping away, and here she is. Too much. Gets into the middle of the box. It was a great flick on up top. Just nowhere, no one in a red uniform to get to that second ball. I think that's usually the goal is just to get a flick on from that or have someone else pass it in the air. This is a mistake in the back. Florence Belzeal jumps on it. A right-footed shot, and it's in the top of the net. Florence Belzeal strikes on the mistake from Penn State, and the Huskers lead 1-0. And Penn State are normally such a composed and disciplined team at the back, but Nebraska have been all over them. The Huskers playing a dangerous game with the high press early on, but it pays absolute dividends here as Belzeal goes north to south as she gets the ball picked up in midfield position and goes right into the box and fires it home. Not much Asman could do there as Belzeal. So much power on the, the back line, and she's a confident goalkeeper, but that back line in front of her deserves some of the credit in those 3-0 victories as well. Absolutely. Two matches, just six, six shots against. I mean, really well done for her to only have to make six saves as this ball's in, and it just trickles through. Florence Belzeal makes it two on the night. The Huskers, a 2-0 lead over a Penn State team who is shocked right now. And how about the box-to-box -box midfield play of Florence Belzeal? She's up to three goals on the season, her second already tonight, but this is created by the dummy from Reagan Robbie. Her name is not going to end up on the score sheet. But the reason that Asman couldn't see it very well, Robbie was blocking the play. There was a couple defenders she attracted around it, and instead of trying to make that touch that Asman had to react to, just pulls. Ranked teams has got a ranked opponent here once again that they're leading three. 1, 24th ranked Penn State. It would be the first Husker win this year against a ranked opponent. Belzeal wins it back for the Huskers. She's into the 18, a right-footed shot. Asman jumps on it. Look, maybe one turnover in the middle of the field. Hawks can't quite get there. Sloppy back pass. Belzeal, good handle there, though. Clean sliding play by Gwen Lane. Working his Belzeal. Belzeal with a shot off the post. Whoa. Finds Sadie Waite. Waite defended by Stevens. Booted in by Anglum. Ball at the feet of Sarah Weber. Coming around for help is Gwen Lane if she needs it. That one's in the net for the Huskers. It goes off in a line eye. Holy moly! I think that was actually a back heel goal by Florence Bilzeal. Did she just chip that one right in? And that was an absolutely phenomenal pass though by Sarah Weber. Look at this. Has all the time in the world. Picks out Bilzeal to just get, yep, the little bit back heel goal there. That's a great finish from Florence Bilzeal. Bilzeal has been a spark off the bench tonight. And sparks, good sparks create fire, Nate. And not only has she been facilitated, Couple stop and goes to get Lynch on her heels. Fight to keep the ball alive. Here's Florence Belzeal. Great effort by Marissa Papula. That shot just wide and it barely stays in. Just a battle here in Nebraska's final third to try and get that final chance that they need. Just 12 minutes remaining. Belzeal wins it back. This could be it. Belzeal cuts to the inside. Still in 30 years. I've been a walking, talking. What did he say? Cliche? Yes. Was it, was it cliche or coaches speak? Some version of that. This group was about collectiveness. That's what he said.
Yes, it's all about the unit. It's so remember when we talked to Drew Ross, head coach for Purdue, he said it was a bend but don't break effort for his back line in that first half. Yes, Purdue defends it well, and Matthews whipping around. And the sliding challenge. Well done by Lane. Coming up. Matthews is so Miller back once again. She on for, is on for Gilbertson. Into the middle of the box. Robbie. Oh, and there was a touch away for Robbie as it goes off the foot of a north. Line, like you said, because they're so defensively sound. And just they know where they need to be in order to protect the goal for their goalie. Um, which is why it's been a lot with it with that midfield three you can put one more attacking you could put One more defending you can have two more defending. There's really a lot of versatility as Nebraska Bell Zeal crosses this one and Sarah Weber heads it on But it'll be tipped over the bar And I believe those plays four keepers were there They're going up in a crowd like we saw earlier with Plashkow give them the most confidence Elzeal taking on a couple of defenders with a nutmeg. Now she plays one long. Sarah Weber into the area on her left foot. She plays it across. Belzeal skies it over the bar. Look out, Bob Devaney center. Waller from Kelly. And a Lawler gets the goal. First of the year to go along with two assists so far in the season. I have 15 minutes left of the first half. Let's just say that. It's just absolutely. Downboard here. We saw some rain intermittent go in and out, some drizzles, but last even last, last 15 minutes of play, we really saw it come down here and it win here at Hermes Stadium in the last 64 games. Here's Nebraska trying to get it on the board. It's through. Played off. Weber shot and into the back of the net. Nebraska's on the board. Four to one. 22 players from 2021 and. They've been on full display here this season. Nebraska playing it across. Weber again. Excuse me, it was not Weber. Weber's in the middle. That was from behind victory. They've done it once already this year. That was at home against Oklahoma. They fell down one goal and came storming back with two goals. Great play Bell here. Zeal, from Bell nutmeg. Zeal. nutmeg on Yakel. It was played in by Rob to Robbie. Robbie. Weak cross, but now Peterson with the shot, and it takes a deflection and goes in. Haley Peterson. Finds Waite, who dropped deep to connect play. Peterson charging up the, uh, sorry, that's Bell Zeal, charging up. Three. Great little one-two with Haley Peterson, and now Florence Bell Zeal through on goal, gets through, and a great touch in, and a goal for Nebraska, but offside. You can kind of see after, you know, San Diego State had, had a little bit of jolt of energy that Nebraska's kind of brought it. They were like, okay, we got to keep it going now. Belzeal, quick feet in tight spaces into the box. Them, so we're still not at zero here as we begin the second half. As the Huskers play it forward for Dale, good sliding tackle by Fernandez. But in front of her for this free kick from right at the the midway line. Pops it up, top of the 18. Header won by Tulsa, but possession gathered by Belzeal. Makes one touch, takes a crack, and puts it into the far side netting. Florence Belzeal finally breaks the deadlock, putting the Huskers ahead here in the 55th minute. A beautiful goal 
by the midfield sophomore from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Slicing it across the face of goal. Sanders had no chance as she put it in the far side corner. Belzeal, her first. And Tulsa looks extremely gassed. Nebraska with the ball forward. Weber touched on by Napora. Now Belzeal. Oh, back now. And that's Wojo. Nebraska keeps it down. Dale we had that work against a very good BYU team. They're 4 1 and 1. Michigan State's 3 0 oh, 1. Your alma mater, Illinois, is 5 and 2, and Whiskey is 4 1 and 2. Michigan, if they. What do they need to do right now to contain their energy but not lose the aggressiveness? Yeah, I mean, it's all that high press at the start. But then, of course, you know, you, you can't let her pass to Strickland. Sadie Waite with the takeaway. Finds Florence Belzeal speeding up. Belzeal putting moves on the defender. Jordan's able with a nice pass over to Florence Belzeal. Another chance for Belzeal. That one's blocked away by Butler. And Robbie ends up battling and battling for the ball. It helps. Nebraska. Nebraska on the attack, into their attacking third. Here's Florence Belzeal. She's been doing it all night, trying to find Sarah Weber, and just ahead again. It seems all bouncing around. Four and a half minutes to play. Florence Belzeal doing everything she can to keep it alive.